Hey, an excellent truth that came my way. I thought, let me also share with you all. Maybe it might benefit you as well. A uh, few observations, observations, practically. In a theater, when drama plays, I don't know how many of you go and watch dramas. Nowadays, it's it's like a very very obsolete thing, at least in Nagpur. But in Pune, Mumbai, Kolkata, Delhi, I think drama has a lot to play. Cultural cities, they are prospering. So when you enter, you when it is a drama, when the drama is playing, you offer always the front seats, right? You want to see the actors how they emote from a very close angle. And when film is screen, you opt for a rear seat, paradoxically, contrary, right? Your position in life is only relative. What do you say? Isn't it not absolute for making soap? Oil is required, but to clean oil, soap is required. When the ants, they are on water, they are dead. Fish eat and consume all the ants floating on the water. And when there is no water and the fishes die. What happens? The ants thrive on them. The fishes, the bigger fishes too. So it's relative. Yes, this is the irony of life as well. Only two category of people are happy in life. The mad and the child. How true. The mad would never care. It never apply mind. He'll always be kind of a carefree person, not bothering absolutely undeterred, undisturbed, unperturbed, all the time in life, mad, right? And the child, the innocence, the ignorance, the naivety, I think you call any of it, but these are the two lot who are absolutely away from the, this relativity of life. Two categories. Be mad to achieve your goal. Be a child to enjoy what you achieved. Enjoy the life. Neither you can hug yourself nor you can cry on your own shoulder. Life is all about living for one another. Stephen Coy gets reminded when he has his theory of, theory of uh, dependence to independence to interdependence. Life has a lot to be learned through people like Stephen Goy. His looking at things is very simplified. We live in a society where interdependence is of prime importance. This big ego comes into our behavior, our lives. And we absolutely keep a blind eye, give a blind eye to our interactions. But we undermine this interdependence, which is the basic fundamental idea of living together in a society. So if life is all about living for one another, live with those who love you the most. Simple way of looking at life is if someone loves you and you do not love them, you need to respect their feeling. If you love someone, and they do not, you need to accept that they have someone else in their mind. If you love and they also love back, enjoy life, be together. There is a fourth, fourth category. If you do not love or like each other, then there is no intention or purpose to be together. It's as simple as putting an association or understanding of relationship in life, be it any. Irrespective of the kind of people existing, I think you need to understand that there are four categories and this is how you need to be. Addressing your own, own ego, satisfaction and interaction of a larger lot in the society. Relation cannot be understood by the language of money because some investments never give profit, but they make us rich. It is bonding. It is the association. It is the person whom you want to be with, the person who loves you. If you have not identified yet, 
then you need to do this exercise if you have already done this if you already done with this exercise i think you know whom to go back and hug them love them and be with them be with your loved ones god bless